Greetings. Welcome to the Developing Dad Podcast, where we bring the Bible to bear on culture, education, and the family. Like, comment, subscribe, support. You see that Patreon thing down there? I'm about to start it back up, starting the Patreon back up so I can get some some good content out there, some behind the scenes stuff so y'all can get some extras, right? Some extras. I got to figure out the best way to give y'all extras. All right, let's get started. Okay, so what are we talking about today? We're talking about, talking about, now, before, wait, before I get too deep into this, I got to turn on this filter. Because I'm turning, look, I know I'm about to talk about Trump. I'm about to ruffle some feathers, conservative feathers. Got my America filter on. This my America filter, right? Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain. Right? There you go. Y'all see? Remember now, America. Okay? So let's get straight into it. All right? Y'all see? Y'all know about the, the Trump sneakers by now, $400 sneakers. I ain't mad at the man. Okay? Do your thing. Do your thing. Sell your sneakers. Make your money. Right. You got your mag or your 45 T. Come on. Do the thing. All right. But when you start selling Bibles, bro, that's when that's when I got to talk about you. I got to bring the Bible to bear on you. That's I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Trump. I'm sorry to all the MAGA folk. I'm sorry to the Christian conservative movement. Y'all just got to bear with me on this one. We All right. So let's bring the Bible to bear on Trump and these this Bible selling, all right, selling Bibles for sixty dollars because of the mountain legal bills. Now, what is he trying to do? Obviously, he's pandering to Christians because Christians buy Bibles, and America Christians, God bless the USA Bibles. All right. Now, I can't get too mad at him because uh, with the amount of translations and and revisions and b- Bible sellings that's going on with all of these publishers, Trump is just trying to get in on the racket. All right. If y'all familiar with the movie, um, oh, brother, where art thou? John Goodman's character, Big Dan to court. The, he's a wholesaler for the word of God, the Bible in bulk. Right. In these troubled times. That's that's what that's what Trump is doing. Right. He's Big Dan to court. OK, so let's bring the Bible to bear on this. I know I belabor the point a little bit, trying to give you all a little bit of humor or something like that. But this, this is what it seems like to me. Now, you can't buy God with money, obviously, but it seems like Trump is trying to buy God's people with money. OK, it's unfortunate, though, that it seems like a lot of Christians are falling for this. Now, when Simon the sorcerer tried to buy God, the gift of God with money, he was rebuked. Will Christians or conservative Christians rebuke the pandering from the Republican Party? Now, you pandering now, bro. All right. Can we just say it? Can we just rep- call them to repentance? Stop trying to sell us Bibles. Stop every four years, two years. Christians get pandered to. Sometimes the Republicans are. Uh, they actually fulfilled their promises to us. But for the most part, they're one in the same. Like we got a uniparty system going on. All of them want to keep power. It is not about the best interests of the people. You have some Republicans who go into the into politics and then they get corrupted. Right. They want to keep the status quo moving. OK, that that's that's essentially what's been going on for years and years. Now, Trump is just being obvious with it. Like, look, I'm going to put God bless America on these Bibles. I'm going to sell it to these Christians. Now, if we actually and I'm going to I'm going to. I'm going to go I'm going to go to the next point before I because because I don't want to make the point before I have to make the point. You understand? You understand what I'm saying? All right. But remember, oh, beautiful America, America, God shed his grace on thee. Remember, I got the America filter on. All right. So here we go. Let's do this. All right. So do, what do we want? Do we want a godly king? Because last time I checked, the majority of people in this country are Christians. If we actually wanted a Christian president, we could elect one. Because we have the majority, right? We could probably win most states if Christians said, you know what? I'm tired of the quasi Christian conservative movement. And I actually want a a um, a president that professes Jesus as Lord. Or do we want to keep having a king like the nations, a leader like the nations, just like Israel in first Samuel 8, 20? Say, give we we want to be like the nations that our king may judge us and go out before us and fight our battles. Who are we supposed to be allowing what we're supposed to stand still and let the Lord fight our battles? Ultimately, do we know what it is, what it means to fight the battle spiritual, the spiritual battle? I'm not saying that we can't be involved in politics because two things you can be certain about for the next election cycle in November. I'm voting, but I ain't voting for Biden. That's two. That's two certain things you can you can take to the bank. Right. Lord, let me live to see that day. I'm voting and I ain't voting, voting for Biden. OK, now, do we want a king just like the rest of the nations, though? Or do we do we finally want to move towards godliness as the standard for leadership? Right. 
And maybe maybe Trump is a means to an end. Maybe we get the Democrats out and then we'll begin to to move the, the, the conservative movement towards Christ. <clears throat> That's going to be I, I don't know. OK, maybe maybe it'll happen. You know what? I'm a post millennial, so I believe that any like the, the gospel can advance and, and and, you know, this could become a Christian nation where people profess the name of Jesus Christ. The laws are based upon the scriptures. Right. Christian nationalism alert. <laughs> Right. OK. Um, <laughs> anyway. But ultimately, where where are we putting our trust is our trust in the Lord or is it or is it in the fact that Trump is the only one who can drain the swamp? Huh? What does the Bible say about that? Putting out your trust in princes, Psalm 146, three through five in the son of man in whom there is no salvation. When his breath departs, I remember well, I'm going to finish reading this. He returns to the earth. And on that very day, his plans perish. All of Trump's plans will perish when he leaves this earth. Christ's kingdom will still advance. So who are we trusting in? Blessed is he whose help is in the God of Jacob, whose help, whose hope is in Yahweh, his God. Are we ultimately trusting in Yahweh? Are we using Trump as a, I trust in Yahweh, I trust in Yahweh to move and make Trump do what he wants? Like, Trump don't, Trump don't believe in Jesus, right? He's not a Christian, all right? Now, God can put Christian people around him. And if if there's a groundswell of we want righteousness among Christians, then that can move his, move him. But ultimately, he's serving his best interest. And sometimes that will uh, coincide with the best interest of the American people because he's a businessman. OK, and business is good for business. All right. And then Psalm 27, verse seven. And we'll finish up with this. Some trust in chariots. And some in horses. But we Christians, people, God's people trust in the name of Yahweh, our God. Are we actually doing that? Are we actually trusting in the name of Yahweh, our God, or are we looking? Are we can we be bought with money? We know you can't buy God with money, but apparently in this country, you can buy God's people with money. Right. I don't know. I'm, I'm just asking these questions. Do we want a king like the nations or do we want? A godly man to lead us. Are we trusting in the Lord? Because Trump is trying to buy God's people. With money, with his, I don't know. I'm just asking, I'm just saying, man, look, it, uh, you know what? I'm going to leave it alone. Just remember, America, 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 right? America, okay? I'm just saying, don't try to buy, Trump should not try to buy God's people with money. I understand that he's not a Christian, but yeah. He just wants the influence. He loves the Christian influence. Again, who are we trusting in? That's the question. Who are we trusting in? All right? Ooh, I'm going to leave y'all with that. Until next time, get in the comments. Tell me how crazy I am. I had to take the America filter off. Y'all tell me how, you know, I'm not consistent and logical and all this other stuff. I know when I, when I disagree with your position, then I'm not logical. All right. Until next time, be on the alert. Stand firm in the faith. Act like men. Support. Check out the Cash App. Check out the, the, the Patreon. Got some stuff coming from the Patreon. Till next time. See y'all around. Bye.